Welcome to our video tutorial on how to use the Pythagorean Theorem. Mabilisan lang, balik muna tayo sa mga basics. Let's have right triangle A, B, C. And obviously, nandito yung 90 degree angle o yung right angle. Tandaan natin na sa right triangle, yung opposite side ng 90 degree angle o yung side na kaharap niya ay tinatawag na hypotenuse. And sa right triangle, ang hypotenuse ang laging pinaka mahaba. Tapos yung dalawang natitirang sides, yung sides na nagpo-form ng letter L ay tinatawag na mga legs. Kaya naman, every right triangle has two legs and hypotenuse. Balibalik ta rin man yung figure, dapat alam mo hanapin kung sino yung hypotenuse at sino yung mga legs. Now, itong side BA na to, or AB, ay pwede rin tawaging side C, small letter C. Saan galing yan? Yung pangalan na yan, doon sa opposite angle niya, small letter lang siya. And it follows na itong side na to ay pwedeng tawaging side A. Tapos ito, pwedeng maging side, tama ka, side B. Now, sabi ng Pythagorean Theorem, in a right triangle, emphasize ko yun na, sa right triangle lang siya pwedeng damitin. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. Square daw natin yung hypotenuse na C, that is C squared, tapos equal daw yan sa sum ng mga squares ng legs. Itong equation na to, ang formula na mabubuo kapag tinranslate natin yung Pythagorean theorem in symbols, where C is the hypotenuse and A and B are the legs. Now, itong equation na to, kapag kinuha na natin ng square roots, magiging C equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. Kasi nga, di ba, makakancel yung square root symbol dito sa kayong 2. Yung right side naman, may iiwang ganun. Sa video na to, ito ang gagamitin natin formula or equation. Kasi mas madali siyang gamitin. Ang gagamitin lang natin ay kunin natin yung uh, squares ng dalawang legs. Tapos kunin yung sum nila and then extract the square roots. Again, square, sum, and then extract the square roots. Kapag naman ang nawawala ay leg A, pwede natin i-manipulate yung formula na yan. Magiging A equals the square root of C squared minus B squared. Kapag naman yung leg B, magiging the square root of C squared minus A squared. Kung isipin mo buti, dalawang formula lang ang memorize natin. Depende sa nawawala. Kapag hypotenuse, square, sum, and then extract. Kapag naman leg, laging square, tapos this time difference, and then extract. Both for leg A and leg B. Ganun lang siya. Kaya basically, dalawang formula lang ang i-memorize natin. Again, square, sum, and then extract. O kaya naman, square, difference, and then extract. Para mas maintindihan natin or para mas ma-realize natin na madali lang gamitin to, let's have examples. For this example, in right triangle ABC below, A is 3 and B is 4. How long is C? Ang C ay, ayun, hypotenuse. Kaya nga gamitin natin ay square, sum, and then extract. Square mo yung 3, 9 yun. Square mo yung 4, 16 yun. Kunin mo yung sum, 25, kasi 3, uh, 9 plus 16, 25, di ba? Tapos, last step, kunin mo yung square root. Ano yung square root ng 25? 5. And then you're done. Yung hypotenuse dito, o yung C, ay 5. Kung kailangan mo ng formula, isulat mo. Yung formula natin, hypotenuse is equal to the square root of the sum of the legs. Diba? C is equal to square root of A squared plus B squared. Tapos, substitution. Ang C ay kokopihin natin. Yung A squared ay magiging 3 squared. Yung B squared magiging 4 squared. Kung mabilis ka, pwede kang dumiretso dito. Na nakasimplify na kaagad yung 3 squared and 4 squared. And then, combine natin itong dalawang to. Magiging square root of 25 yan. Square root of 25 is simply 5. Kaya yan yung final answer. So, bakit po walang negative? Walang negative dahil we are talking about Lengths, we are talking about distances. Kaya hindi na pwedeng ilagay yung negative dyan. Dini-disregard na natin siya. Okay? 
Second example, in right triangle ABC below, if A is 2, B is 4, how long is C? Similar siya dun sa first example. Ang nawawala ay hypotenuse. Kaya gagamitin natin formula ay yung may sum. O kaya naman, yung kung mentally ka, square, sum, and then extract. But from this point forward, didiretso na tayo dun sa with solution. So, solution natin magiging ang hypotenuse ay equal sa the square root of a squared plus b squared. No? Sum pa rin. And then substitute natin, yung a squared magiging 2 squared, yung b squared magiging 4 squared. And then simplify natin yung bawat term, magiging 4 ito, ito magiging 16. Combine like terms, 4 and 16, magiging 20 yun. And then simplify natin yan, square root of 20. Ang 20 ay hindi perfect square. Di ba pag ganito, uh, bine-breakdown natin siya, nag-iisip tayo ng dalawang factors, na kung saan yung isang factor ay perfect square number. Kaya naman yung 20, pwedeng isulat na 4 times 5. So, C equals, 4, uh, C equals the square root of 4 times 5. Yung 4 ay isang perfect square number, kaya pwede na siyang lumabas. Ang 5 ay hindi perfect square number, kaya may iwan siya sa loob ng radical. Kaya, square root of 4 is 2. Final answer natin, C equals the square root of c equals to the square root of and that's it third example given right triangle abc if c is 10 b is 6 find a obviously nakabigay yung hypotenuse kaya ang gagamitin natin ay yung may difference na nasa loob na ng radical yung hypotenuse kaya gagawin natin a equals the square root of c squared minus b squared Kaya madali lang gawin yan. And then substitute natin yung c squared ay magiging 10 squared, b squared ay magiging 6 squared. Simplify natin yung parehong term sa yan, magiging 100 saka 36. Tapos kunin natin difference nila, 64 yan. Square root of 64 is 8. O diba? Ang a ay 8, si b ay 6, tapos yung c ay 10. Ang 10 ang hypotenuse kaya dapat siya ang pinakamahaba. Yun ang pinaka-first step mong gagawin, di ba? Kapag gusto mong i-check kung tama yung sagot mo, tignan mo dapat yung hypotenuse ang lalabas sa pinakamahaba. Fourth example, given the figure, find the length of x. Walang pangalan yung ibang sides, kaya dadiretso tayo sa substitution. Ayan, ang nawawala ay isang leg, kaya ang magiging equation natin ay x equals the square root of Tama, dapat difference. 7 squared minus 3 squared. Tandaan nyo yun ha, kapag leg ang nawawala, difference yung sa loob. Kapag yung hypotenuse ang nawawala, magiging sum yun. Okay? Uh, simplify natin, 7 squared is 49, 3 squared is 9. 49 minus 9 is 40, syempre. Tapos yung 40 ay hindi na naman perfect square. Kaya, i-break down natin yan into two factors na kung saan na yung isa isang perfect square number. Ano ang pinakamataas na perfect square factor ng 40? Tama, 4. Kaya yung 40 ay pwedeng maging 4 times 10. And then, yung 4 ay pwede nang lumabas kasi nga perfect square na siya. Kaya nga labas dyan, x equals 2 the square root of 10. And that's it. Fifth example, given the figure, find the length of x. Medyo iba na naman yung orientation, pero agad natin malalaman na yung variable x dito ay isang hypotenuse. Kaya yung magiging formula natin or equation natin ay merong sum sa loob. Kaya magiging x equals the square root of the square root of 15 squared plus the square root of 17 squared. Magiging ganito. Ayan. So don't worry about the, the complexity of our equation. Basta sundan nyo yung ating process. Okay, so let's proceed. Ito ay makakancel, di ba? Law of radical. Yung radical sign, saka itong 2, makakancel yan. Ganon din dito. So, si Diyan pala ay ano lang, x equals square root of 15 plus 17. 15 plus 17 is 32. Di ba? Ngayon, anong square root ng 32? Ang 32 ay hindi na naman perfect square. I-break down natin. Ano yung mga factors ng 32 na perfect square? Meron tayong 1, 4, and 16. Siyempre, pinipili natin lagi ang pinakamalaki para nababawas yung step natin. 
magiging 16 times 2 ang 32 na yan. Kaya magiging x equals to square root of 16 times 2. And then, ang 16 ay isang perfect square, kaya lalabas na siya, magiging 4. Kaya magiging x equals 4, the square root of 2. And that's it. So, yung 4 ay perfect square pa, kaya magiging 2 pa yan. No, lumabas na siya, kaya yan yung final answer. Last example, given the figure, find the value of x. Meron pala tayong right angle, kaya pwedeng gumamit ng Pythagorean theorem. Pagka ganito na lahat ng sides ay merong variable, it's your call kung anong gusto mong gamitin formula. Yung may sum ba o yung may difference sa loob ng radical sign. Kung akong pipili, mas pipiliin ko yung may sum sa loob ng radical sign para alam ko na yung hypotenuse ay nasa labas nandoon sa left side ng equation. Kaya magiging equation ko dito ay, kasi ito yung hypotenuse natin, di ba? 4x minus 3 equals the square of 3x plus the square of x plus 1. Ayan, kung napansin nyo, meron tayong parenthesis, no? para hindi tayong malito na kailangan natin i-square yung buong yan. Okay, so square natin yung buong yan, itong 3x kapag na-square natin, Applying the law of exponent, yung 3 magiging 3 squared, yung x magiging 3x squared. Ito naman ay binomial, kaya magiging perfect squared trinomial. Yan, magiging x squared plus 2x plus 1. Ayan. Tapos, i-combine natin yung mga like terms, yung parehong quadratic term. Magiging 10x squared to. Okay? Tapos, ang next step natin ay para matanggal na yung radical sign. We need to square both sides. Ayan, gumamit pa rin ako ng parenthesis para malaman ko, hindi ako malito, na kailangan yung buong yun ang square ko. So, ito, mangyayari lang dito ay makakancel lang yan, di ba? So, ito ko kopihin ko. Ah, magiging perfect square trinomial to. Ito ay magiging 16x squared minus 24x plus 9. Ayan, tapos yung right side, kopihin ko lang yung radicand na naiwan. And then ito ay isang quadratic equation. Gawin natin siyang standard form. So, 16x squared minus 10x squared, that is 6x squared. Tapos, negative 24x minus 2x, that's negative 26x, 9 minus 1, 8. Kaya yung, yung uh, standard form yan ay, 6x squared minus 26x plus 8 equals 0. Tapos, bago tayo mag-apply ng factoring, tignan muna natin, lahat ng numerical coefficient ay even. Kaya, may GCF sila na 2. Pwede mong divide lahat ng yan by 2 para lumate yung mga numbers natin. Magiging 3, ito negative, 20, negative 13, ito magiging 4. Ayan. Tapos, apply natin yung factoring by general quadratic trinomial. Yung ating magiging factored form nito ay the quantity 3x minus 1 times the quantity x minus 4 equals 0. Kaya obviously, ang x natin ay magiging dalawa, 1 third saka 4. Now, are we done? No. Kailangan mo munang i-check kung tama yung mga yan. Kasi baka hindi nila masatisfy yung ating uh, expressions. Kailangan kasi lumabas na positive yan. Unahin natin yung 4. 4 plus 1 is 5, tapos 3 times 4 is 12. Ito naman, 4 times 4 is 16, minus 3 is 13. Kaya pasok, pare-parehong positive. Ito naman, yung 1 third. 4 times 1 third is 4 over 3. 4 over 3 minus 3 is negative 5 over 3. So, dun pa lang, hindi na siya pumasa. Kaya hindi pwedeng maging value ni x yung 1 third. In short, ang final answer natin ay yung 4 lang. Again, kailangan nyo munang i-check kung maraming lumabas na values ni x doon sa expression. Kailangan maging puro positive yan kasi we are talking about lengths. We are talking about distances. Kaya hindi pwede maging negative yan. So, yun lang. Uh, tandaan natin yung dalawang uh, shortcuts natin. No? Kapag ang nawawala ay hypotenuse, square, sum, and then extract the square roots. Kapag nawawala ay leg, square, difference, and then extract the square roots. So this ends my presentation. Goodbye and thank you.